Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be using the Pose Brush. This is a very fun one. So let's go ahead and open up your Blender and do New File General. And let's save it as, and we can just call it Pose. And let's set up our monkey for sculpting. So we'll just turn on our matte caps and add our multi-resolution so we can have some resolution to sculpt with. And so I'm just gonna crank it up to five. And before we switch into sculpt mode, we're gonna do something a little bit different for the pose brush. So what I want you to do is switch into edit mode. So we can do control tab and then switch over to the right. And what we wanna do is make sure we're in edge mode. So just hit two on your keyboard and we're going to mark little seams for where we want our posing brush to manipulate. So what I want you to do is highlight the edges around Suzanne's ear. Just hold shift and click and drag all these little lines that go around her ear here. And actually I'm gonna go a little wider. So it's almost like a big hexagon that is shaped around her ear right there. So once you have that selected, you need to tell Blender that this is a seam. So to do that, we're going to go to edge and scroll down here and say mark seam. And notice it got a little highlight that went around it. If we deselect, you can see these tiny little lines around that edge. And that's how you know that this has been marked as a seam. And we may do one right here on her face. So just double click on that line or alt double click to do a loop select and make sure you have the whole entire loop selected there and we're going to do the same thing just edge mark seam and let's do it on the other side here too let's do it on her ear and we're just shift clicking and highlighting these little edges that go around her ears so make sure you have everything they're all connecting and then we'll do edge mark seam and there you go so we've got two ears and then the lower half of the jaw here so now that we've done that, we can go into sculpt mode with control tab down. And it, you can't see anything right off the, the bat here, but what we need to do is tell Blender sculpt mode to look for our seams. So to do that, go up to the top left up here and do face sets and then instantiate face sets. We're going to use seams right here. So UV seams and watch what happens to your model. So click that. Bloop. And notice Blender's kind of changed the color slightly on your different seams. And the eyes are different colors because they are just different meshes. They're actually not connected to the head. So don't worry about the eyes there for now. Uh, but what we're gonna do is use the pose brush. So we'll click and drag over here and it's down here near the bottom and it's pose brush. So when you click on the pose brush, notice we've got the radius, We've got the strength and there's no plus or minus because we're just posing with this brush. But if we go into our tools, there's a ton of new stuff. We've got, uh, let's pull this out so you can kind of see. We've got our deformation targets. We've got deformation. We've got rotation origins. We've got pose origin offset, smooth iterations. And we've also got our pose inverse kinematic segments. And all this sounds really intimidating and scary, but it's not too too crazy. So the only thing you really have to do to make the pose brush work with our seams that we've marked is for rotation origins. We're going to just switch it to face sets. These little colored parts on the monkey here are face sets. So you can do this uh, for anything that you design. And so when you hover over your designs now, Blender is looking for these face sets. And if you go into your overlays here, you can even change the, the opacity of your face sets if you wanna to toggle them on and off. And it looks like one of my face sets didn't really come through on the ear. So I'm going to hit tab and just look at this and make sure I got everything connected here. Aha, so it looks like I missed and I actually added these two. So I'm gonna just select those, do edge, do clear seam and highlight that one. So I didn't have the actual, uh, you know, it wasn't actually connected all the way around. So we'll just do mark seam and then now it should be a full loop there. So we'll go back to our sculpt mode, go to face sets, 
and do UV seams. There we go. So you want it to look like that. You want all the different colors for your different seams there. So if anyone had that same issue, that is how you fix it. And now what we can do, notice when we have the pose brush, it's kind of anchoring to the base of the ear here. And then you can stretch this line to another part of the surface and then click and drag. And looky there, we can pose things. So look at the base of her ear. It's really like really messing up the really rough, you know, on the, the base of the ear. It's very harsh. So what you can do is just undo that and increase the smooth iterations. And that will make it a little less, you know, harsh when you go to, 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 you know, pose these ears, but it's pretty fun just being able to, you know, quickly move something around and then you can hold shift and kind of smooth it out and really have a lot of fun just posing different parts of your model really quickly. Otherwise, you know, in the past you would have had to put bones in this and do a lot of things or try to grab it and move it all as one. But this one, especially when you get into like larger characters, this is going to be a lot of fun just being able to quickly pose different parts of your design here. So I'm going to go from the side, grab the chin, and you kind of have to work with it a little bit. See, it's trying to grab the ear here, but you want to let it grab the bottom of the chin, and then you can click and drag, you know, push that out a little bit, and then just smooth it out. So this works really well if you're doing like legs or arms or fingers on any of your sculpting models. And we're just really touching the surface today. Um, you can do a lot of really cool things with the pose brush, but this is the pose brush in its most basic form. I didn't want to overwhelm everyone today, but uh, you know, just go ahead and see if you can get the ears and the chin to move. You can even go from different angles. You know, if you want to push the ears forward, or push them back and then just, you know, smooth those parts out so it doesn't look all crazy there and that is how you do simple posing with the pose brush and then there's also things like the deformations so what we were doing were rotating and twisting all of our our little face sets here but you can actually scale and translate them so it's going to do the same thing but now it's just scaling in a kind of a posable way so as you scale move your mouse in and out, it's going to scale those. Or you could do squash and stretch. So I'll go to the other ear here. And notice if I grab the ear on this one and squash and stretch, it's actually just squishing it and stretching it um, just like it, the name says. So those are different things that you can do depending on the kind of look that you're going for. And again, just always smooth it out because it can get pretty, pretty crazy looking, but it's very easy to to fix. So that is the pose brush in a nutshell and hopefully it gets your mind thinking or for future sculpts when you get into more advanced designs you'll be able to repose something you've sculpted for hours you know and you don't want to redo it all you can just use the pose brush to change the neck position or to change the arms or the legs and have a completely new model. So Go ahead and play with the pose brush as long as you feel like and, you know, pose Suzanne's face any way you want. And then we'll jump into the next brush, which is the nudge brush.